Hello and welcome to IB Times TV. I'm Leanna Brinder, Business Editor for the International Business Times. Joining me now is Ed Ainsworth. He's a Managing Director at 4C Associates. So hi, thanks for joining us. Pleasure. So how and why uh, would big data be a concern for CFOs these days? Well, big data shouldn't be a big concern. It's a big opportunity. Um, the changes that have happened in the last 10 years have enabled you as a CFO to be able to combine data sources from both historic backward looking, uh, like your uh, conventional ERP systems, with forward looking market data, supplier performance data, um, news and information to enable you to make better decisions. So you should be able to understand your costs better than you can currently and make better decisions as a result and increase the profitability of your company. Do you think companies are actually spending enough time, money and resources into this area? Yes and no. I think everyone's interested in the topic and uh, most CFOs are thinking about big data and what do they do and how they can make the most of the opportunities created. However, I'm not sure that they're necessarily all doing the right projects or doing the, the kind of projects that can generate real value for them, either because they're not sure what they are or, or for um, uh, then they're not driving the agenda and driving what can be done. What would you say are the key factors in uh, limiting the costs of big data? Yeah, I think first of all is to understand what projects are you doing and what costs, what costs are they incurring so that you're, you're better off thinking of it rather than I've got big data, a, a one big data project, it's thinking about specific projects and what needs to be done for those and what is the return on investment that is required doing those projects in a way that are consistent and are linked up so that you can get value from them, um, but not trying to create some monolithic project that you're not going to be able to understand and you're not going to be able to under, understand the cost. And then once you've broken it down, I think it's worth being challenging on what are the cost components of it? Do we really need to spend that money in the same way that you would challenge any other uh, project? Would you say that putting money into uh, big data facilities right now would cut costs in the longer term as well as possibly um, replacing headcount? Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure about the headcount. What I, what I, what you're going to be able to reduce your costs by understanding your costs better. So I think the, the, the opportunity is to by being able to both understand your costs in a disaggregated way and link it with forward linking, forward looking information, demand information, information from your supply base, prices on your supply, prices, real time prices from your supply base, you're going to be able to um, optimize your costs and reduce your costs for the whole company. And there's a, there's a lot of evidence that companies that do this and work in this way perform by between 5 and 20% better than companies that don't. So that's the opportunity. I'm not sure the opportunity is very much in that there's, there's less of an opportunity in big data itself replacing some activity that is already carried out within the, within the organisation. So maybe for companies that aren't those global giants and maybe have much smaller budgets, where would you say they get bigger bang for their buck? Well, you don't, you don't need a big budget. I think it's a little bit of a misconception to be thinking about big data needs a big project and a big budget. I think for me, big data projects is about combining da different data sources together to be able to give you uh, insight and combining it in a quicker, faster way than you've done before so that you can make the decisions before it's too late. And so you can do that on a relatively small scale. I mean, now with the technology that's available, you can access all of it with cloud-based technology. Some of it is open source technology. So it doesn't necessarily need to be that expensive. It just needs a mindset of going to combine data from different sources in order to get more insight from your company. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure. That was Ed Ainsworth. He's a Managing Director at 4C Associates.